Hi everyone, today we're going to be learning about multiplying multi-digit whole numbers. Our learning target for today is I can solve whole number multiplication problems. Okay, so our first step in solving multiplication problems is always, always to make an estimate. So I'm going to estimate and around to the highest place value that I have. So I'm in around 39 to 40 and 5 well, it's in the ones place, so it's going to stay the same. So my estimate will be 40 oops, times 5. And 4 times 5 is 20. And then I have that extra 0, so one extra place value. So my estimate will be 200. Okay, now I'm going to think about this as the product of kind of the two parts of 39. So 39 is really 30 plus 9. And then each part of that, so that's expanded notation. I'll have to find the product of each of those parts times 5. So 5 times 30 is 150. And then 5 times 9 is 45. So all together, 150 plus 45 is 195. Okay, now I'm going to demonstrate for you how to use the area model to multiply 14 times 26. The first thing that we're going to do is make an estimate. So I'm going to estimate by rounding to the highest place value that we have. So I'm going to round 14 to 10, and then 26 rounds to 30. So 10 times 30 is 300. So I'm looking for an answer near 300. Okay, when I use the area model, I'm going to separate these two numbers into expanded notation. So 10 plus 4 and then 20 plus 6. And every time I multiply, I'm multiplying place values times each other for each factor. So for example, I'll start off with 10 times 20. And that's 200. And then 20 times 4 and that's 80. And then we have 10 times 6 which is 60. And finally, 4 times 6, or the 1's place times the 1's place, which is 24. In the end, we're going to add all those up. So 200 plus 80 plus 60 plus 24. Kind of ran out of space there. But I will come up with, let's see, a sum of... 364. So then I'm going to just double check. Is my answer near my estimate? Yep, it's only 60 off. So that's a pretty good answer. It looks good. Okay, now it's time to pause and practice. When you unpause, you'll see how I solve this problem. You're going to want to start by drawing the boxes for the area model out on your paper. Pause now. Okay, so here's how I solve the problem. Multiply 30 times 40 for 1,200, 40 times 7 for 280, three, or, sorry, 5 times 30 for 150, 5 times 7 for 35. Added them all up, and I got 1,665. Then I'm going to check that against the estimate. This is in the thousands place, and my estimate is in the thousands place as well. So I know I've got a pretty good answer. Okay. Now we're going to move this a step forward. So here I have for you our area model for 73 times 4. So you should see how this sets up. We have 70 plus 3 times 4. So I'll start by multiplying 70 times 4, because I multiply the 10's place times the 1's place, so 280. And then 3 times 4, which is 12. And then, of course, we're going to add together 280 plus 12. So 280 plus 12 is 292. So now we're going to move out of the area model, and I'm going to teach you how to multiply these using the traditional method of multiplication. So before we start that, remember what we did here. We multiplied 4 times 70, or times the tens place, and then we multiplied 4 times 3, which was the ones place in 73. So we're going to do the same thing, only it'll be in the reverse order. So we're going to set up the problem, 73 times 4. 
I'm going to kind of line these up even though I'm not really going to use that too much. So I'm going to multiply 4 times 3, just like we did right here. We got 4 times 3, and that was 12. Okay, so I'm going to write 4 times 3, which is 12, 2, and I'm going to carry the 1 right up here. Okay, now I'm going to multiply 4 times 70. So I kind of look at it as 4 times 7, but it's really 4 times 70. So that's 280. But then I'm going to add on, so it's, but I'm going to look at it as 4 times 7. Then I'm going to add the 1 onto the top. So 4 times 7 is 28. 28 plus 1 is 292. So instead of adding them at the end, which is what we did in this area method, we added that 1 onto the tens place right here. Okay, when we multiply two two-digit numbers, it's going to work the same way. First, we're going to start off with an estimate. So I'm going to round 28 to 30 and 39 to 40. And then I'm looking for an answer around 1,200. So I'm going to show you the area model first. So 20 plus 8 times 30 plus 9. 30 times 20 is 600. 30 times 8 is 240. 20 times 9 is 180. 8 times 9 is 72. Then I'll add all of those numbers up. So 600 plus 240 plus 180 plus 72. So 1,092. So I'm going to just check. My answer is in the thousands place. My estimate's in the thousands place. That looks pretty good. Now I'll take you and show, take the same problem and show you how to work this out in traditional multiplication. So 28 times 39. Okay. I'm going to kind of work this backwards of how I did the, um, the first problem where I'm going to start with the ones place in the 39. I'm going to multiply the ones place by the ones place in 28 and by the tens place in um, 28. Okay. So I'll do that part first. So 8 times 9 is 72. So remember we did the 2 and then we carried the 7 up here because it, it comes into the tens place. 9 times 2 is 18. 18 plus 7 is 25. Now here's where things get a little bit tricky. I'm going to show you in a different color. I'm going to multiply 30 times 8 and 30 times 2. Because I'm multiplying 30 and not 3, I'm moving over a place value. So I'm going to put a 0 in the 1's place, showing that I'm really starting with the 10's place. So 30 times 8, instead of thinking of it as 30 times 8, because I've already put this placeholder in right here, I'll just think of it as 3 times 8, which is 24. And then I carry the 2 up to here. 3 times 2, which is really 30 times 20. Um, but 3 times 2 is 6. And then add 2 more on, which is 8. Okay, now I'm going to add these two numbers up. 5 plus 4 is... 9 or 50 plus 40 because it's in the tens place and then 2 plus 8 which is really 200 plus 800 is in is 10 so 1092 okay so those two answers match what we're doing is really the same we're doing the same process the same problem but we're writing it out in a much shorter form now it's time for you to pause and practice here are the numbers to use. Try the area model first, and then use the traditional multiplication method. Pause now. Okay, so here are the two methods that I used to solve the problem. Did the area model on the left, and then the traditional multiplication model on the right. Make sure you compare that to your work to see that they match 
or if you made a mistake to see where you made a mistake and what went wrong. Okay, now it's time for your learning check. You can either use the area model or you can use the traditional multiplication model. Thanks so much for watching. Have a great night.